Good morning, people. I hope you're doing good. It is Sunday morning. I never work weekends. This is the first week, uh, Sunday I've worked in many, many years. So, we are back at this bathroom in New Farley that we started second fixing last week. We couldn't finish because the tile we not finished. Anyhow, long, gosh, long story cut short, we went and get another tile to finish off and just make good, basically. So, yeah. In the ground, flooring's all done, Doesn't look too bad. Window sills are all done, so yeah, just waiting for that plaster to come back. He's still not been he said it's gonna be Tuesday, but we'll see. Um, I'll drop these lights for him, and that, so yeah, I'm out of breath. <laughs> um, so what we got left to do, I have just while the, while the tile was here this morning, just grout, finished grouting up, don't worry, it is the same color, it's just wet, Um piped my hot and cold up. Which are fine, pack the basin up. So that's all up and running nicely. So that's all done. Toilet in the shower while well, we'll let that dry a bit and get the toilet in. Probably won't show you fit, me fit in the toilet. You've probably seen me fit a lot of toilets before. Um, and you've seen how we screw our toilets down. If you haven't seen me do it, you've probably seen the MJ Tiff do it. So I don't need to show you that again. <sighs> I've just realised we missed a bit of grout. Might get something there before I put the toilet in. But got tower rail to do, so I'm gonna walk you through how I fit a tower rail. Right, so tower rail, just standard tower rail, straight through valves, going straight through the floor of the copper. So yes, the tile that I used is the same tile from last time, which everyone worrying about who actually uses um a grinder to cut a hole anymore. What? Why doesn't, well, I don't get why you don't just use thingy, but anyway, it's the last time I'm using this Tyler. Um, yeah, for, for the sake of 10 or 15 quid maybe, you get the whole sort of do the job. So, how I mark up my radiators. So, well, I make my radiator up first, so I get my bottom valves made in, get all my brackets in where I want them. I always put top one in the middle bars, and then the bottom one, just a couple up, Sometimes put it in the middle if it's not too big, but yeah, I've gone far up on this one. Five up on this one, five up. Um, so yeah, so what we'll do is we find our center mark. So we've got 450 centers. So what's that, 275, is that right? I think so, let's have a look. 225, what am I on about? That's how good I am at maths. A 225 is pretty much that grout line. We'll mark it up. And then what we do is we measure from the bottom of my valve to the centre of my bracket, which is 27 and a half centimetres. Yep, 27 and a half centimetres. So we'll get that marked up. Oh, sorry, I nearly made a mistake then. So what you need to do is then, then you just come up maybe 15 to the bottom of the rad valve. So 15, just make sure you've got enough on the pipe work. Yeah, so 15 plus 27 and a half, we've got uh, 37 and a half plus five, 42 and a half. So mark up 42 and a half. And then, what we do then is measure from our centre of our bottom brackets to the centre of our top brackets. So on this radiator we've got ninety one centimetres. Do you have? I really need to get a new tripod. So 91 centimetres. And then get our level and run our level line up to the centre of there, to the centre of there. Which I'll do now once I can find my level. Try 
try to do as little pencil marks as possible just because it is wiping down and then the customer don't want to see if you do miss any customer doesn't want to see pencil marks behind the tower rail and then we have got a 500 wide radiator so what we'll do you want to keep your valve your brackets as far apart as possible so I don't like to have them touching the side of the bracket. I mean, side of the radiator, like so. I think it doesn't look quite right. I like a little bit of a gap. So we'll go 14 inches. Probably gonna give people anxiety, me using two different kinds of measurements. Um, but yeah, never mind. So seven inches that way. Seven inches that way. Make sure we've got 14 inches, which we have. Same at the top. And then get your level mark, get your level and mark level. And there. So you should have should have four crosses. Like so. One there and then one there and one there. So we'll get this drilled out. We are using the traditional Mexico, or Mexico, uh, diamond bits. Self-cooling, but I always dip them in water. Tend find it doesn't make it last longer. You can get plates, so it's easy to drill. But what I do, you start at an angle, get it started, and line up. And then don't ever push it too far, because if you push it too far, you'll, you'll, you'll um, burn your drill bit out. So if you think it's, you, it's only a couple of seconds, dip it in water, go back in with it. Um, and then we can plug and screw. As far as I'm aware, it's, it's a stud wall, this one. There was an old doorway here. It's an old... Years ago, before the, we trashed the bathroom, before that, it was a bathroom and toilet, separate rooms. Um, so, yeah, this is where the old door was. So I think this is a stud wall inside there. So they're all drilled out. So we'll start plugging these up. Um, I use roll plugs on these. You can get special fixings for tiles and stuff like that, but I just use normal roll plugs and that's always done me. Um, so don't forget to wipe your um, pencil marks off. This seems like a perfect opportunity to show this. I've seen this on TikTok the other week and I didn't believe it, but I've just tried it and it works. So, who knew that you'd use a tape measure as a rubber? Like, it just makes sense because it's rubber outside. So, whoever tried this first is a, is a, a genius. Well, it's not a genius, but it's common sense, really. Watch it not come off now. So, yeah, it comes off. It's a bit hard work. I prefer to just get a, a wipe. <laughs> it comes off a lot easier. So, I think I'll stick to using wipes for now. <laughs> this is a lot more hard work, does that? Like I say, we'll get them plugged up and we'll get our brackets out, which are somewhere in there. And we'll get them screwed in with some, you don't need massive screws. I've got some two inch, they're not two inch, what are these? Inch and three quarter, I think they are. Um, just enough to go through the bracket and bite into the plug in the wall. That's all you need. So yeah, we got it done. I never use the plugs and screws. Best place for them is in the bin. Same with the screws. So rubbish. So, but, what's that coming in now? Ah, the door. Typical. Just as I'm about to tell you. So, here's the plugs to the van and grab some. Where the bloody hell I put these screws? There they are. So, in there, if I just use a normal 10 inch, um, number 10 screw once i drill into there it's just going to pull through the plastic so make sure you use a penny washer on there just to stop it from pulling through so i'll shoot it around and go grab one of them always always be careful not to over tighten 
your screws, especially with the drill, which will end up cracking your tile. Um, and then pop your level on, just make sure you are level between brackets and save at the top. Right, so them all on now. What we do, should have already had your brackets in and I don't tighten these up. Leave them loose so you can move them around. It's gonna make life a lot, a lot easier for you. That way we can move it to where we need to be and we'll get putting it on. So. On there. Are we gonna get it on in one, first time? One handed? Top's on. Let's try to get the bottoms on without damaging anything. They're lined up. So, I'm just looking. I just need to wipe down. It's like got dots in it. Can you see it? I'm not sure what that's from. I'm just gonna check the other side. Make sure the other side is not the same. Um, make the customer aware. See if she wants to change it. Um, but what we have to do now, if we, if that wasn't the case, what we do now is somewhere in here. I've got a couple of screws, four screws uh, in the bottom of there. If you can see. They screw in there and you can tighten them up and it holds it to the wall, holds it to the brackets then. And then we can move over to the pipe work. Well, that's all fixed in place now. We've got it pretty much level. This is the bonus about not um, tightening these up yet. You can swing it certain ways just so you get it bang on level. We've got the same, same amount of gap there. That we have there, that we have there, that we have there. It's a bonus. Some people, and I've done it before, I've only put one bracket in the middle. Um, that way you've got even more play in the um, in the radiator to get, get it level. So once you're happy that it is level, just nip them up. You don't need to over tighten them because when you come to put your cap on, your cap won't go on because you've squished the plastic. So. Plastic caps, they just got a hole at the bottom, hole at the top. They just slot in like so. In regards to the, what look like scratches, it's not scratches, it's just dust. Like So I'm gonna get a, uh, some ultra wipes out of the van um, and give that, a, give that a clean down. So moving over to the pipe work. System's all drained down now. It says, here we go. So. I cut, well, no, I won't. I've got quite a bit of play on these pipes, one plastic under the floor. So, I can get it to, our line inside will come to about here. The bottom of my fingernail is there. So then we can cut, cut the pipe like so there. The plastic, always, when you're cutting, if you've got plastic elbow under the floor, you always want to um, cut your pipe clockwise. That way, you, if your pipe does spin, it's not going to loosen the fit in another floor. It's only going to tighten it. But I always recommend to hold the pipe work anyway. So just to stop it from spinning. I really need a new pipe slice because this is blunt. Yeah, my fingers are going to have biceps soon. Come on. There we go. So that should slot up there. Like so. And then we can get one spanner. And with it being a chrome plated, do not put grips onto there. Because you will just rip the chrome plate off. Instead, what I do is use the lock shield as a bit of a lever. You don't need to over tighten it. Especially when I'm going to put some paste on as well. So then just 
bomb a little bit of paste on, not too much, you don't want to overdo it. Like he has done. That'd be enough. And then just tighten that back up. This time you want to give it a proper good name, really. So I'll do the same to the other side. May not need to cut into that. There we go. There we go. Even better. There we go, so that's all piped up. So I'm going to turn all the air vents off on the other radiators, go fill the system up. I suppose that didn't fall on my head, it usually does. Um, get the other plates, uh, caps on these, fill the system up, test it out, and get it warm, nice and warm. So yeah, that's how I fit a tower rail. It's not how I was taught, I was taught differently, but I find this works better for me. And it's one of them, you have to work out what's best for you and what you find quickest. Um, I used, to, my, I got taught to put your brackets on, you hold it up to the wall and, and you've got a mark around it. But when there's only one of you, it's pretty hard to do and make sure it's level. It's, yeah, it's, it's not how I do it anymore. I find this is a lot easier and a lot more simpler. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that and uh, hope you took some tips off it. Right, so we are all finished, dusted, cleaned up. The tile needs to come pick his rubbish up. Um, yeah, we're all done, all cleaned down, all good to go. Um, Tots all tested, basins all tested, heating's nice and toasty. All the thing left to do is to put a toilet roll holder and a towel holder, which I think is going there, and then silicone all the internal corners and everything so but the reason i'm not doing that today is because one it's sunday i want to go home i don't feel well i think i've caught a dreaded bug um, and two it was only grout this morning and that grout over there is still a little bit wet so any dust uh, tile dust going onto that's just gonna discolor it so you might think it's a bit wrong color grout that's a bit lighter than that one but once it dries it dries to a lighter color so don't pick me out too much. So we'll be back Thursday, all being well. Once the, once the plaster's done, I swear to God, if it's ta the plaster doesn't turn up on Thursday, I'm going to be fuming. On Tuesday, I'm going to be fuming. Um, so I just want to get this job finished and paid. Because I don't know if it's about, uh, just me or God. I must have at least five jobs on the go at the moment and I am skin and rue. I just need people to pay me. Well, I need to finish the jobs off. Um, so yeah, to uh, Monday, tomorrow, so this is actually Sunday, I'm filming this. This will go out later today, this, this, this morning basically. So tomorrow I am at a job in Rodley, which I haven't been filming, just because I've been under pressure last week. I didn't get any footage really last week. Um, so I've started another bathroom, which I regret starting, I wish I'd not started it now. Um, so I've got to go back there and put the wet room tray down, and just all of some pipe work, which should be all in the morning. And then I'm going back to um, the, Extension we started in Stanley. Going to try to get a boiler on the wall and then pipes in the wall, wall that we didn't get done last week or the week before, whatever it was. So, yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. I'll be well.
Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow us over on Instagram and TikTok, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.